Well, a lot of New Yorkers may be opting for taxis or ride-sharing services instead of mass transit, but it may not be a safer option unless you know a few things about where to sit and about the windows. Fox 5's Reagan Medji live now in Jackson Heights, Queens to explain. Reagan? That's right, Laurie. And one thing you do not want to do is Keep those windows up and blast the air conditioning or the heat. You definitely want to have the windows open, but here's the thing, not all of them. It's difficult to socially distance when riding in a vehicle, something more people are opting to do to get around instead of using mass transit. And we know COVID-19 can be transmitted by breathing, coughing, or sneezing in close proximity to someone else. So, a team from Brown University and UMass Amherst developed this computer simulation to learn how air flows in a confined space like a car. Varghese Matai is a professor of physics who worked on this study. Uh, it showed us that you don't necessarily need to open all the windows. Having the passenger sitting in the back seat with all four windows open is ideal, but not the only safe option. Matai says you can actually create the right amount of airflow when one window is open in the back and the other in the front. You're going through a diagonal to the car and there's a strong wind in between these occupants. He says this can create an air curtain between the driver and the passenger. This gust of air actually helps in uh, kind of serving as an air barrier between the two occupants. And I find it best to demonstrate exactly what this all means. So here's my prop, my trusty steed, my red vehicle. I won't say the maker or the model. Okay, so you get in the car, and the best thing to do is open up the front side passenger window. Now, if you're the driver, and then open up the window behind the driver. Now, passengers, you can sit really wherever you'd like. You don't necessarily where you sit have to open the window, but this is where you want to go. So now here's some science. The air pressure is actually greater in the back. So when the car is moving, what will happen is the air will go into the back, through the front, and out. So almost kind of creating a jet, jet stream, if you will, preventing any cross-contamination within the car. Because as we know, COVID-19 is transmitted through the coughing, the sneezing. It's almost like an aerosol. So once the car is moving, the air just kind of goes through, gets sucked in, and goes right on out. For now, we're live in Jackson Heights. Reagan Medji, good day in New York, ladies. Makes Back sense, the science behind it. Okay, thanks, Reagan.